Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Welcome, family, lovers of freedom intercessors for the new great Zimbabwe and those that love peace and progress for Zimbabwe. We are here on Chatufa Television Production, the gospel of the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. We are here to remind Zimbabweans that God is in it and God has plans to free Zimbabwe and to bring liberty, prog progress, prosperity in the nation of Zimbabwe. And the days are fast approaching. We are in the season of change. The wind of change is blowing and we are going to see ZANU-PF falling to its ground very, very soon. Just watch the space as you see things happening in the country. A lot is happening and something is going to give very, very soon. Keep watching. We are looking again today at an army general who has died in a suspected assassination accident. And this is the beginning of many, many other things that we've been talking about that you are going to see. Remember the season, family? We spoke about the season from March and going on. And we said, watch champions, watch, watch, watch. God has released a wind and this is a wind of change. It's a wind that is going to upset tables and turn around tables in the in the dining room of zanu pf shall put fire in its kitchen fire in its bedroom fire in the courtyard fire around the fences of zanu pf fire in their boots and in their bones and exactly this is what we are seeing happening we are now seeing temperatures beginning to rise and we have seen uh the clicks the divisions the fights the cracks that we are seeing in zanu pf exactly we are seeing the times are coming the signs of times are showing indeed and we are saying god is moving as faster than anybody could ever believe towards the freedom of the zimbabwean people what is happening what is happening as we are seeing the issue of the third term beginning to uh, co cause confusion and divisions and a lot of tensions in zan pf we see now uh, this army general it's actually four uh, army officers he had an accident at Munyati. One of them is General Veja. He is no more. May his soul rest in peace. And this is the, the, the man who has been killed. And in this accident, I was reading another article that was talking about it, was also saying it is a very highly suspicious accident. Uh, Majira, Majiro say this man is, is a guy who has a lot of information that happens within the military. And I understand that this man was also is also ex-military from the information that I have about him. So he says, uh, I'm following claims that General Vesha has been assassinated. We know that those who are paying for Mnangagwa's third term want to see this through and establishment of the Mafid dynasty, supposed to be Mafid, not Mandifi, Mafid dynasty. So again, uh, you see, so it is all over. The story is all over and many, many articles are coming out talking about this, so, which means there is a lot that is happening, uh, the tensions that are happening. You remember, in a few days, family, we've been talking about this very issue when uh, we did that show where we were talking about Mnangagwa, whether he's backtracking on the issue of the third term or what. And we were asking questions, remember? We were saying, what is happening? Is he backtracking? If so, why is he backtracking? What is happening? Are there things that are happening uh, under the carpets that citizens do not know? Why all of a sudden this backtracking? Why all of a sudden this turn around? And we said definitely something is going to come out. We are going to see, we are going to hear. This is the season of exposure and nothing hidden right now in Zimbabwe shall continue to be hidden. So this is the scenario that we are facing in the country, a time that is volatile. When we start to see these events, like the, the, these mysterious deaths beginning to happen, it is a, a signifying that there's a lot that is happening right inside uh, the army corridors and also uh, ZANU-PF corridors. Because the tension has been so much, especially in the military, because the resistance has come so, so highly from the military, because the military will continue to salute soldiers. Remember, there is a soldier behind Mnangagwa, General Chiweng, and if people think that he's over, he's done, they are yet, they are still joking. You are yet to see a lot 
going to happen. I'm telling you, family. Uh, and remember, I've always been saying, if you ask me about one of the ways that God is going to be possibly using uh, to bring our freedom and total collapse of ZANU-PF, if you ask me, I can tell you that it's going to be happening from right inside ZANU-PF. This is why I've been saying myself, as I'm talking about myself, I'm not talking on behalf of anyone. I'm talking about myself. If I, I, I'm not for the the idea of uh, the new elections and what, 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 what. No, my spirit doesn't uh, go there. My spirit continues to tell me that the implosion or the destruction of ZANPF is going to be happening from right inside it. God is just cause, going to cause the the pig to fry itself with its own fat. That's that's exactly what is going to happen because if it comes from inside it's very good because it will create a total disaster it will destroy and break chains so much more than what could be happening from outside so i believe strongly that god is going to be causing confusion right from inside some people will implode and this is what we are seeing and if Mnangagwa begins uh, to uh, eliminate uh, generals like the way that uh, this suspicion is, because it is a suspected assassination accident, because those that assessed it, they were saying there's a, there are a lot of anomalies that are there on that uh, accident, and also the way that it has been attended to. It showed that uh, it had some. It was like an inside job. You know, when this is an inside job, you will see from the re response that there were people that were waiting for this to happen. In Zimbabwe, there is no quick response. There's no quick response, whether it can be fire or it can be accidents or it can be whatever. The only thing that is responded to in Zimbabwe quickly is when there are gunshots. Wherever there are gunshots, the police will appear like uh, they, are, they, are, they are germinating like mushroom from under the ground because they know that it is a threat to the very existence of ZANPF and Emerson Munangam because they would want to know who owns the gun. Because why ZANU-PF continues to you know, disrespect Zimbabweans is because they do understand that Zimbabweans have no guns. So we can do anything to them, we can treat them anyhow, what will they do? But the moment they hear a gunshot, they want to find out who really owns a gun and how many people now own guns. Because guns are coming into the country from South Africa, especially. Because in South Africa, the guns are bought from the streets. You find that the ANC does not take South Africans for granted. Even the police in South Africa, they don't just come to somebody's house and start kicking the door because you can be shot. Because everyone, you never know, even a mere, mere vagabond in South Africa could be having a gun. You see, that is the problem. Well, it's not a good society. A society is not supposed to be like that because there are some foolish people who will just end up you know, shedding innocent blood. We don't want that in Zimbabwe. But I'm just giving this as an example to say uh, you find ZANPF or uh, the, the ZANPF police responding quickly when it comes to guns because they are afraid that guns are coming in. And the next time they, they think that they can uh, just attack Zimbabweans or thwart any kind of uprising, they might be surprised to find uh, uh, ammunition, you know, guns being fired at them without uh, any notice. So they respond quickly there. And they also respond to accidents that are suspicious because they quickly want to either take somebody who was involved, if they discover that maybe the person is not dead, they can go and finish them up. And the issue of finishing them, finishing up, we know it in Sanu PF. It has been happening. Most of those ministers, especially long back then, who died in accidents, most of them did not like die there and there on the accident. They were finished. They were finished. Somebody would have to come and finish off the job. So they will be waiting either to quickly finish off the, the people or whoever that is targeted there. It has to be finished right by the scene. Or they have to whisk those people away quickly before the eyes of many other people, maybe reporters or whatever, uh, can arrive there so that nobody will have a clear story. The clear story must remain within, inside, within ZANU-PF or within uh, whoever uh, uh, organization is carrying out that attempt or, or assassination attempt. So... <clears throat> When we begin to see uh, issues like this beginning to happen, it means that temperatures are rising. It means that tensions are rising, especially opposing Emerson Mnangagwa. We are watching to see what is going to be happening. And uh, we are also watching to see what is going to be the response from here. But if we look at this and it becomes a, a Mnangagwa job, I'm telling you, now he is even fast-tracking his end. 
if he goes this way, this direction, I don't think it is going to he's going to succeed again. He has succeeded COVID once, but I don't think he will succeed again this time around because when he started moving around and shoving uh, the army general, generals and changing positions, demoting others, promoting his own and the like, the army has been alerted already of uh, the plans that he's trying to, to, to make sure that he destabilizes the, the military. But plans have been made already, meetings have been done where they are striving, they are regrouping, they are restructuring themselves against the moves of Mnangagwa, and he knows it. So when you see now some other generals beginning to die suspiciously like this, it is because the, you'll be now targeting those who are most vocal or the ones that are blocking mostly uh, whatever that move that he wants to, to partake. But is it going to end well? How are the others going to respond? If he goes this direction and he goes for the other one and the second one or the third one, is it going to just... Uh, or the army is it the army going to be just taking it lying down or is it uh, are they going to retaliate are, are they not going to fight back and we end up seeing something imploding we can see an explosion an uh, unexpected explosion uh, happening at any time in the country so uh, i'm telling you where we are going we are not going any direction i've always been saying this that the, the direction that zimbabwe is going right now is no other direction except the end of sun pf and the freedom for the zimbabwean people no matter what they may try to do the truth remains true that the the country is just going in one direction we may not understand, of course, some of the activities and occurrences that are happening in the country. Because, you know, when it's God doing things, he will do things in many ways. And many of his ways are very confusing to men. As for us as human beings, we may see as if things are even getting back, you know, backward. Like things are disintegrating. Instead, will be it could be God's way of uh, taking us where we are going. God's ways are not our ways. His, his, his thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are higher than our, our, our ways. So he, he will do things according to his will. Like, like I'm always telling you, family, that this time around, the freedom of the Zimbabwean people is not in the hands of human beings. It's not in the hands of men. It is in the hands of God Almighty himself. He is the one who has drawn the line in the sand and said, enough is enough, no more shedding of blood, no more ZANPF continuing for, for how they've been treating the Zimbabwean people for a very long time. God has entered the ring himself, and he is simply going to be point, uh, lifting up people that are going to be taking over once he's done with the enemy of the Zimbabwean people. But in the spirit, ZANPF is gone. I've said this countless times. I will continue to say this. I will continue to remind you this, that spiritually, ZANPF has already fallen. ZANPF is no longer in power right now. ZANPF is in the situation of Saul because King Saul remained king for quite a number of years, yet God had already rejected him. He, rem he remained a king while God had rejected him for many, many years. It was just a matter of time. A day was going to come when Saul was just going to go. And David even presented with an opportunity to kill Saul one day. David still said, I'm not going to kill him. Because David understood that this man is finished already. God is done with him. Let me not intervene into what God uh, has planned and what God is uh, already doing. So he said, no, I'm not going to kill Saul even if an opportunity has presented itself. I'm going to leave him. Let God deal with him. Let God finish him in the way and in the manner that he, he chooses himself. And it happened. It happened. So as Zimbabweans, we continue to pray. We, and as intercessors, we continue to stand and declare that God is in it. Let the will of God happen in the nation of Zimbabwe. All that we are calling for is that we need freedom. Zimbabwe must be free from ZANU PF. Zimbabwe must be freed from oppressors. Zimbabwe must be freed from murderers, from thieves. Zimbabwe must be freed from liars. Zimbabwe must be freed from a mafia government. Zimbabwe must be freed from sons and daughters of Lucifer. And God has given us the season. This is the season. We are there standing, believing, and never bowing down to the pressure of ZANU-PF. Whatever that they can do, let them do. Whatever they say, let them continue saying and speaking and planning. But at the end of the day, we know that the will of the Lord is going to happen. The blue train will take over, whether they like it or not, whether they say what they say or not, whether they can have 
grenades and guns and tear gas and dogs and lorries and whatever. They can have everything, but that cannot defeat the will of God for the nation of Zimbabwe. No weapon fashioned against the Zimbabwean people shall prosper. The time of the Lord has come and the situation is going to just turn itself around the way that God wills and God wants. It's a matter of time. As citizens and intercessors, all we need to do is to continue standing in prayer, praying for this nation. And we need to continue to be strong as Zimbabweans. Just give yourself every time that you pray. Give yourself just two, three, four, five minutes of speaking about Zimbabwe, of declaring the word of God over Zimbabwe, of just saying, God, remember our freedom for the Zimbabwean people. Never forget on a daily basis to do that each time that you find yourself in prayer. Mention Zimbabwe. And I am telling you, we are shifting things in the spirit. We are charging the spiritual and things are going to happen whether ZANU-PF likes it or not, whether Mnangagwa likes it or not, it's going to happen. And the time has come. Nothing lasts forever. Even this world itself does not last forever. Heaven and earth will pass away. Only one thing shall last forever. It is the word of the living God. And it is the same word that he has spoken, that the time of the freedom of Zimbabwean people is now. That very word which ZANPF cannot destroy, which even the destruction of the world cannot get rid of, it is the word that we are standing with. We are holding on to the word, to the promise from heaven that our freedom has come as the Zimbabwean people. Remain strong, remain vigilant, continue to be strong and prayer and prayer and prayer and declaring the word of God. We are coming out of these doldrums and Zimbabwe is going to rise. Let them eat each other's liver. Let them kill each other if they will. Let them bite each other and let them shoot each other. Let them cause, assassinate each other and finish each other. But as for the Zimbabwean people, we will continue united, united and believing in the promises of God. And we will see our nation being delivered from the shackles of the enemy. Gogostole, how are you? She says, good evening, brethren, on the blue train bound for Zimbabwe, waiting patiently and praying too. As Bishop Nyamakanga told us a few days ago, the way up is down on our knees. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 for, for, for such beautiful, beautiful words. We want to continue to be praying for the nation. Tapano, a new and uh, and 200 plus uh, billion Zimbabwe economy is now downloading. Good evening, brethren. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Evening unto you, brother. How are you? Uh, Tyree says, good evening, Chadufa and the movement family. Thank you very much for being here. We see a, a lot of uh, uh, Blue hearts coming in. Uh, brother Nishan Mashamba, how are you, my brother? She, he says, uh, Evening Chatufa, we keep watching the signs of times. Yes, we are seeing signs of times and uh, they are happening. We are seeing God's move every left, right, and center. I see God in every little move. Even when Mchangwa is uh, hallucinating, I see God there. <laughs> I see God in Mchangwa's hallucination. Let him hallucinate. Let him speak things that are offline to make things happen quickly. Yes, uh, Simon Mudadi says, Chatufa for life. Thank you very much, my brother. Uh, thank you for that uh, uh, wonderful comment. Right, I, 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 I seem to like Mutangwa's loud mouth. Yes, uh, somebody say what I was saying. Exactly, exactly. That loud mouth, loud mouth is good for us. It's good for us. Let it uh, make things, you know, stay up confusion and uh, let everything go upside down. Greetings, Mr. Chatufa and the Blue family. Thank you very much. Uh, Brother Wilson, how are you? Uh, we are so blessed to be on the show and seeing the family here. Stella uh, Makunike says, greetings, children of God. Our God is alive, definitely alive and for, for forevermore. Leonard uh, uh, says, freedom is now uh, and uh, forever is now. Yes, Gorerino Ashkoni, definitely. Thank you very much, uh, Cynthia Chesa, my sister. Good evening, Chatufa. Regaiz Bayani Koko. This is uh, Miriam Londo. Thank you. Yes, Regaiz Bayani. Regaiz Mansane. We don't care. We would simply say, let things go as God has planned. The implosion of Zanu PF is now. The end of ZANU PF has come, and we are standing to make sure that things continue to happen. We have what uh, yet one more show that is coming, and we are going to pray at the end of the coming show. Otherwise, family, thank you so much for joining me on this very show. We are going to be meeting in a few minutes' time, right on this very same channel. Stay tuned. We are coming, looking yet into another story. God bless you, and God bless.